Hey guys, it's me and welcome back to the channel. It's been forever since I posted and also we are in a new kind of setup environment. No, we're not. <laughs> um, but we are in a different position of filming now as I finally got myself an area and a table where I can film directly like this. Uh, like I said, I'm cleaning out my room a little bit, um, closet, but my plushies are there, some blankets, and then like all my clothes are in this closet now, which thank god I have a closet. Um, but it's still in process, uh, we're, we, but we won't be filming on that area that is normally our normal setup. Um, also, fall break is literally next week for us. Uh, I don't know for everyone else. I think uh, you guys might be like near Thanksgiving. Um, but fall break is about to be here. And I'm so excited because then that means I get to film more videos for you guys. Um, I also get to relax a bit from the semester. The semester has been insane. This week is hectic with all the tests, quizzes. It's just so much to where you just don't want to go to school anymore. Um... But yeah, so today, other than that, I feel like I always wear this hoodie, but um, I am getting a new hoodie that's shipping in soon, uh, new sweatpants as well, so, but you guys don't even see my sweatpants every time I film a video, so, um, when will I do more vlogs? I probably do more vlogs soon, hopefully, um, but if you guys want to stay active with me, I've been on TikTok the most. Uh, we just reached 10,000 followers on TikTok recently. And I'm so happy. Like, honestly, I never thought we would reach that milestone. But let's see if we can reach 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Hopefully, uh, share with your friends. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Welcome to the family. Like and comment down below how your year has been going with the whole COVID and school thing. Um, but, you know, let's get on with this video. So today's video is our normal get ready with me chit chat video as I always been doing. I forgot to mention that I also have a small vanity here now which I'm so happy about. Um, but yeah so today we're just going to do like our normal chit chat get ready with me video. Because um, today's topic I have actually have a story to add in um, and I feel like this topic is something that is meaning to talk about for a long time uh, and address because uh, as you guys know through all my chan like through my whole channel life um, I went through a lot of breakups <laughs> relationships breakups on and off um, some of them were toxic um, some of my friends are going through the same thing and one of my best friends actually is going through uh, something similar um but she hopefully found herself now and yes she gave me permission to use her story in this this is basically a breakup story for her um uh, i was involved because i was the only person who she can reach out to about it um and i got her permission but if you guys want to follow her on instagram i'll put her instagram up here somewhere or in the description box and you guys can go follow her um also follow my social media and mainly TikTok. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to go in on everything. I already moisturized and prime and sunscreen and all. So um, recently, we've been hearing like a lot of people getting into relationships. I know some of my friends are in relationships recently. Um, and if they watch this, hi. Um, don't say anything later on. Um, <laughs> but we, recently a lot of people have been getting into relationships I know a lot of my friends are getting into relationships There are friends that I never expect to get into relationships That got into relationships um, But you know This world is unexpected all the time But Relationships are hard to find, especially when you want that person to be the one. And it's understandable um, when you first fall in love and that happens. Um, honestly, 
you're not crazy trust me um before i go on to my friend's relationship and that had happened um i've been in a lot of relationships my first relationship was probably in around first grade yes i started very very young um which then that ex kind of turned into like a business partner kind of but then now we don't talk anymore um and it's fine everyone parts their own ways uh after that like it gone kind of gone downhill with my relationship life my love life um sometime i would either be with a person for probably like a week or two or even three um and then later on found out that like it wasn't like a real relationship and it's weird honestly i can say it's very weird when you uh, like make someone think and feel your relationship but you're not in reality but again we're we were all young back then so none of us really know much so after all that i got into a toxic relationship from fifth grade and and on and off up till probably seventh grade um and i think it was sort of best nowadays i don't contact my ex a lot because i don't have anything against if you are able to be friends with your ex i just can't because then when they enter my life like hell goes loose um and my current boyfriend and i agreed that we will not contact any of our ex um because we respect each other and each other decisions and honestly we both got you on before so that's why we understand each other and we respect each other so that's why none of us contact our ex um and i tell some of my friends who gone through a lot of toxic relationships as well same thing uh don't contact your ex because then who knows what will happen um i had not saying that i had all bad relationships but i had relationships that were really toxic i had relationships that were not at the right time um do i believe in this one yes i really do a lot i believe in this one we're almost at our three year um but there's just some people out there who you probably can relate uh who just can't seem to find a one and either get m manipulated which i have experienced before um get cheated on um you know just people using your name um short story i was cheated on twice by two different guys um did i care during that time kind of yes but uh i didn't find out one of them i didn't find out until uh probably eighth grade when my friends who he got was his friends told me um and the second one was i found out through facebook so yeah uh it was insane but i got through it and i'm happy with the person i'm with now which is the most powerful thing that you should be focusing on if you're happy um if you're not happy then i suggest just either try to work it out or just leave um i remember there were a lot of relationships i wasn't happy with uh some relationships i got played in some relationships that we broke up on good terms but don't talk anymore um so every results are different i would say um this doesn't just go with relationships it can also go with people who have crushes um i've been rejected before uh some people got rejected by me before uh some didn't end well but you know it's how the world works sadly um but back to off topic now um but honestly 
I think everyone finds love in different ways, of course. Um, one of my friends recently got into a relationship. She never figured out that she was going to get a relationship in college, but look at where she is now. Um, and if they watch this, I'm on to you guys. <laughs> um, but yes, recently in my class, we all got to do dream boards where it's like vision boards where uh you basically just make like a collage thing with pictures of like what's your goal for your future and like what you want to see in your future um if you guys want to do one of those i really suggest it uh it will help you keep track of your goals um but of course everyone's goals are different but the most common one that everyone had even i did was to get married to someone one day some of us had girlfriends some of us have boyfriends uh some of them haven't yet and just like wants that to happen um and get married with whoever they want in the future uh and be happy as well of course so everyone has a goal everyone has there's a saying that someone told me before, easy come, easy goes. Uh, when something looks a bit too easy, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, majority of the time, it might not be true. Like, it might not really last. Because it's like, easy come, easy go. Like, it, e you're easily falling in love with someone so much to where there might be a day where you guys just fall out. And that's why I tell a lot of my friends, um who gets into a relationship after they just got into like a breakup or something for me before this relationship that i'm in now i was single for two years my last relationship was with uh, a guy that we last for three weeks i would not say who that guy is because um they don't really matter anymore to me um but i still wish them well of course i'm not gonna be heartless or selfish I wish all of my exes well and hopefully they will find their path one day or someone like they love who will love them back um but then there are some that i don't really want to wish well um i feel like i ramble so much in this but onto my friend's story before i tell you guys about the whole self-love after um, my friend, as you guys should know, which I'll put a card up if you guys want to check out that video. She was in a video with me before. Um, she and I kind of went through the same scenario, I would say. And uh, she was in a very toxic relationship with this guy that was from her high school. She's still in high school. What am I talking about? Um, and like she and that guy kind of had a bit of like arguments where it's something doesn't work out and then like mainly the guy gets angry to i'm not taking sides or anything but like this dude was kind of a psychopath and a sociopath the goal liar and it was like kind of not dangerous but like he was kind of like a red flag like red flags just like all over him basically and I think when I was talking to my friend about him because she uh, really needed me there for her he would manipulate people to get what he wants there was a time where I won't expose what happened but she was going through a crisis and um, my phone, for some reason, I'm still trying to get it fixed, uh, won't show notification from Instagram. Um, and he, she texted me and I didn't realize it until I opened my Instagram. Um, and he texted me, cursing me out, calling me names, which I don't understand why. Um, and I got really piss so i blocked that dude and yes my friend is fine now 
Um, but I blocked that dude and I talked to her about it. Um, basically, I tried to tell her, like, if this dude is very toxic, like, you might as well cut him out. But, of course, I told her, like, that's her choice. Um, you can't force anyone to cut someone out um, from their life if they don't want to. Uh, of course, she watches my video. So, like I said, again, she does give me permission for this. Um, but after her breakup with him, um, I think they're still friends right now. Um, but there are times where he's like, oh, I'll gonna get her back and all and we're just like no you're not <laughs> so it's like people like those where they just don't realize like what they have done wrong and they just want to keep coming back to you and that's not healthy honestly that is really not healthy at all i think for guys it just takes a while to process um but i remember a lot of my guy friends went through breakups um and like they took a while to process what happened um but everyone's different no judgment here after my breakup from two years before this relationship happened uh i was a mess a total mess uh i did not know what to do and i just wanted to hide under a rock now with her she had me there right next to her um to where she was in the mind of the process where like she's ready to let him go because of all the things he has done so the, there's two different types of breakups and recovery one's different and if you're able to do in this way that another person can't do just try to be there for them for your friends um, don't get too involved, of course, because um, it's not really our business to get involved. But if they want us to be there for them, then be there. I think also a lot of people go through breakups is because, like, they lose themselves so easily. Like, they always have to depend on this certain person all the time. They, like, just lose their independence. Like, they don't become independent for themselves either. Um... And they just want to be dependent with that person all the time. Which is very annoying, trust me. Um, but that's why I'm saying after a breakup is very hard. But yet you have to try and move on. Um, I, as you guys can see, I took like a two year break from dating. Um, did I have crushes? Yes, I did. Um, was someone trying to talk to me? Yes, there were. Uh, and if they watch this, you can't lie, but they have a, a beautiful girlfriend now who is one of my friends. Um, and honestly, everyone just like go through in different ways. Just like treat yourself, like get yourself back on your feet, show who's boss. Because you can't just let them like be like, oh, I won, I broke up with them, and now they're sad, and I'm happy. No, you can't let them be like that. Okay, some of them, some of the situation, uh, they might be different. I uh, remember that my situation, I kind of felt like I let them win, but that's just me. Um, it's just some advice that you might be able to try and recover it's basically by doing things that would get your mind off it like listening to music hang out with your friends hang out with your loved ones like you need something to distract yourself I that don't remember anymore do they remember me probably but i don't remember a lot of them anymore um, sometimes people just don't listen to you and to me, that's fine because um, that's their life. That's on them. They can choose whatever they want to do. Uh, a lot of my friends have never listened to me. And some of them end up miserable in their life. And that's fine. Um, like, I told them, like, I'm still here for you if you need. Um, 
but sometimes I just don't agree with their choices. And like I said, that's fine. Everyone's different. To wrap up this video, which there was a lot of rambling in it, honestly. To wrap up this video. I, I'll be honest. I've been in many toxic relationships where I felt like they're like the one. You can't expect that like all the time because that person might not be the one and you're just putting yourself at more risk of being heartbroken very much at the end. And there's a time where There's a time where it feels like you just can't leave them. You just can't live without them. And I understand that. Everyone copes with breakups differently. Some are ready to leave that person because they have a reason why. And some just don't have a reason why they want to leave that person. You just need to take that toxic person away from your life. Because I... The end, honestly, they might not be worth it because they're very toxic. Um, but I went through so much to where some of my advice actually helped my friends already. Um, I rambled a lot. This is was like, I feel like this was mostly like a story time kind of video. But like, yeah, in the end, just remember that there are a lot of toxic people out there. Be careful with yourself. Of honestly take time to know that person if you really like them um but don't rush things uh just expect that there might be some people out there who are like forever with you there might be some people out there who might not be the one for you um just expect that um if I could go back, I would tell my younger self like just wait until high school because you'll meet the one in high school um and yeah, honestly, relationship is hard. Even if you're just like, if you just have crushes as well, it's very hard as well. I don't blame anyone. Uh, you're not crazy if you are very in love with that person, but they're not in love with you back. That's like a one sided love. Um, but soon enough, you'll get over it. Uh, it just takes process, time. Like I said, uh, just be with your friends, do something you love, do something like be. A person who is very independent and just be like I don't need a person to make me happy right now focus on yourself self-love and honestly just love yourself love yourself first before you love someone else please guys remember that love yourself before you love someone else because then you can love yourself more and you love that person you kind of will be fine a little bit <laughs> But, yes, love yourself before you love someone else. Please, that is the number one thing I am asking you guys to do. Um, but, yeah, that wraps up the end of our video. Uh, this look kind of looks insane. I don't know why my eyeliner is like that for some weird reason. Um, but, yes, I'm going to be filming a couple of TikToks so I can have them to post every week now. Um, since school is about to come to an end, meaning I'll have more time to film. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you, my experience, my friend's experience, like they help you guys like learn a bit um, through our experience from toxic relationships to breakups to self-loving. Um, you guys want me to make like another self-love video? I've done it before, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'll put a card up here uh, for you guys to look or probably a card somewhere throughout the video already. Um, but yeah, so if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe now so you guys can get more content like this. Follow me on TikTok if you guys want more content on there. There are mainly POVs, which is point of view. Um, makeup videos on there sometime, some dance videos sometime, and just like random video transition videos that I used to do. Some of my music videos are on there. If you guys want to check those out, just keep scrolling through my page. Um, we're trying to reach 20k right now on my TikTok. On here, let's try to reach to 10,000. 
subscribers. Um, share with your friends. Um, give this video a like. Comment down below like your experience in toxic relationship. If you guys ever had one. Um, any one side of love. Any love related stories you guys might want to share down below. Um, I would love to read them. And any questions you might have that I can answer in a future video. But more videos will be coming out soon. And yeah. So I love you guys so much. And remember, love yourself first. Um, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Just